I've been farming about 35 years and taken over from my parents' farm and do corn, soybeans, alfalfa, oats, and now in the last six years I started using cover crops. I have a cow-calf livestock operation of about 140 head. I guess I've got a dual position here on the farm as I work off the farm as I teach school. I'm a fifth generation farm kid and so it's important to me first as a teacher to give my students that experience where we've come from and to where we are going and the different farming practices that have gone through the years. Here at home it's important that we leave the land better for the next generation and take care of it best we can while it's in our possession. Farming with my dad, we decided to go to narrow rows on our corn and soybeans, going from uh, 38 inch down to 19 inch, and to save that moisture and get a quicker canopy for weed control, and then worked into the no-till part of it. One of our biggest limiting sources here is rainfall and to conserve that water, and the no-till is to um, from an economic standpoint of not having to make extra passes of tillage to prepare the soil. Most of it was for uh, plant health and soil benefits there. And then I switched over about eight years ago to do uh, 22 inch row spacing just because it's uh, more common equipment. And then started implementing the uh, cover crops as the, for a winter feed source mostly for my cattle go into a three-way rotation with the corn, soybeans, and oats. I raise the oats for grain okay. and then sell that, grazing the rest. Works great because I've saved about 40% of my hay usage, so I cut down my harvested acres that I need to put up for alfalfa or grass for my winter feed for my cattle. I have a black and red Angus cross and some Simitol. They're not penned up during the winter. They get exercise while they're bred and raising a calf. And the manure, I don't have to haul the manure out. It's spread across the land as a part of the cycling process. Probably the biggest thing is just with not doing tillage, the repair bills and upkeep on tillage equipment. There's fuel savings that way, and just the number of hours I put on a tractor per year is reduced substantially too. One thing I'm looking at now is to try and implement uh, having kind of almost two crops growing at once, a cover crop within the growing crop during the season, and okay. get that synergy of companion crop, so to speak. When this first crop begins to reach maturity and die off, stop growing, that the other one's there and takes off and grows. Since about 1988, I look back at some of the soil tests and just about doubled the organic matter level in some of my soil, so I think we're on the right path to build that organic matter and go back to some of the resiliency part of it that I think that's a big component of it. Kurt is very good about sharing the new ideas that are developing and involving me as much as he can. I'm not here during the day as much, but it's very much a partnership as far as where he thinks we need to take the farm in the future.